Hey guys, this is Darren with Everyman Tech, and today we'll be installing the IQ software for the Corsair M65 gaming mouse. So just follow along, and I will be guiding you right along on how to install it, which is pretty straightforward. So, first, of course, we want to go to the www.corsair.com homepage. So, this is, and from there, it'll be pretty straightforward. So, once we get to the homepage, you will just go down to the download now and in my case it's already when you first go onto the website it actually already pops up for you but in case that doesn't happen for you or or something else is on the screen what you will need to do is actually go over to support and then go to download software and do it that way but the steps are pretty much the same but since um, Corsair has it right here ready for us we're just going to go to the shortcut so what you first need to do is of course hit download now. Then once you hit download now, let me just minimize this for you. You will actually see on the bottom left hand of your screen, you should see the program downloading in real time. Some machines are different. So on your computer, you might not get that. But depending on what browser you're using, which I'm using a Microsoft Edge browser, you can actually go over to another browser and the download will be in the actually the top right near the where the web search so where your extensions will normally be located so you can actually see a bar showing downloads there but in our case ours is on the bottom left so it's finished installing so once that happens all you need to do minimize that for you is double click on open file and then once you hit open file, you will see the Windows installer window pop up. And then once that opens up completely, you just hit yes. So you hit yes. Wait a couple minutes, depending on your service and depending on the speed of your computer. This might vary, but it shouldn't take very long, maybe a couple minutes or so. And you'll just hit OK. English or your language of choice so our case is English and then you just hit install you can read all the license agreement options so on and so forth but in our case we're just going to hit next then hit next again you accept all the legal terminology you accept everything so you just hit next Make sure if you want to add a desktop shortcut or if you don't, you just make sure you, you, know, you have a certain location you want to install it. But we're just going to go to the default and the program files and we're going to hit install. So it's installing. Like I said, depending on your computer or your network service, this may vary. process minutes or so grab some coffee grab some food whatever but again it shouldn't take very long so we're just gonna let it finish installing and do its thing then we can continue with the process Then once this completes, we'll just go over to next and hit finished. You might hear a sound like something like an alarm about to go off, and all that is is just letting you know that it does detect your mouse and that you're good to go. So once the driver installs, it'll automatically detect the mouse. So you hear that one little beeping sound, and that's exactly what it's saying. It's saying, "Hey, I recognize your mouse, so I'm ready to go." So now we can just hit start the Corsair software by default, or if you don't, you just want to install it and do something else. Just unclick the start icon but in this case we're going to hit start so we hit finish 
So once we have finished, then the screen will pop up for the interface itself. And then this is where we can actually customize the mouse to your choosing. And that includes a lighting scheme, which is definitely the RGB lights, which is a lot on this mouse. And also the program, you can program the buttons to do whatever you want to customize it to your gaming needs. And also while I was just taking a note on the website, you can actually go, it's like a little tutorial video if you need some help with some of the steps that will actually walk you through on how to make the customized little changes. So now, since we're now in the interface, you can actually see up on the top left or right in the middle, you see where it says M65 RGB Elite. So that's letting you know that's the mouse. And let me brighten this up a little bit for you. So what you need to do is just double double click on it. And we double click on it. This is where you get to your menus on the top left. And you can hit actions, lighting effects, hardware actions, hardware lighting, DPI which is the sensitivity of the scroll so pretty much if you want if you want to be really sensitive where you can actually where you one flick of the mouse it will actually jump all the way across the screen or if you want a little bit more subdued you can actually change the dpi settings here performance the surface calibration everything so the, the options are pretty much self-explanatory they're not really difficult to do to actually walk you through it and you have the dashboard instant lighting all that good stuff so you just play around with it um, the best way to do is just play around with it test it out and if you don't like it you can always go back and make the changes so that's it guys so if you have any more questions or if you like this video please subscribe and comment hit the like button and, and, that's, and, that's, and for that's, other than that, that's about it. So again, this is Darren with Everyman Tech, and thanks for watching. Bye.